what is the guy's title? You guys might be shocked, like, why in the world is Hyrule's update sneak peek video so freaking long? And if you guys watch to the very end, you guys will definitely know exactly why. Once again, and I'm coming at you guys with another content of Cookie and Kingdom. After waiting for a few minutes, they have finally uh, put up the November 18th update sneak peek. So I'm going to get right into the game and share with you guys the sneak peek update that they have released into the game. So let's get right into it without wasting any time, guys. Alright, here we go guys. So as you can see, it says the November 18th update sneak peek. So if you guys didn't know, you guys can always go to the main menu, hit that news section and see the new update that is going to be coming. So here we go. I'm going to click on it. It says greetings from the kingdom team. Let's take a look at the list of few new features and improvements coming with the November 18th update. Please note that there will be um, other fixes and adjustments to improve your kingdom experience you can find a detailed list of changes additions and fixes published on the day of the update so this is always the same thing guys the uh, same thing that is going to be happening for every single update sneak peek so here we go let's get right into the actual meat of the update sneak peek all right just a disclaimer here it says some pr uh, portions of this update's content might be changed all right, before it's released. The finalized changes will be detailed in full with the patch notes arriving with the update. All right, so new feature, okay? So this is the uh, new mayhem that's going on. Super Mayhem Season 2 Frozen Domain. A new season of Super Mayhem begins in the Frost Domain season. New allies, Sto Snow Elemental. So if you guys remember the teaser video, you guys would have seen the little snowmans as well as a giant, big, muscular one uh, who threw like the uh, giant snowball at people will join your cookies in battle. Each of the two uh, kinds of snow elementals right, possesses its own ability. Use them wisely. Right? Team 1 and 2 will be joined by the young snow elementals. And team 3 will be joined by the snow elemental golems. All right? So the first two teams essentially are going to be the ones that are going to use the small little guys. All right? There's two of them. If you guys remember watching the video, uh, they will be throwing snowballs at uh, the enemies. And then the last team, uh, the team 3, is going to be joined by the snow elemental golem and if you guys watch the video once again you will know that um, the golems will throw a giant snowball and knock uh, back as well as stun I don't know, actually I don't know about the knockback but I know that it's for sure it's gonna be the stun all right and it's going to uh, cause uh, some uh, disturbance uh, amongst the fights so here we go uh, young snow elementals attack enemies with the highest defense dealing damage equal to a proportion or portion, not proportion, portion of the target's max HP. Wow. Okay. And increase their own attack speed with each fourth attack for four seconds. Okay. So the highest defense, that means it's going to go for tanks. And deal damage equal to per, por, uh, portion of the target's max HP. So something like Sorbet's attack. And increase their own attack speed for with each fourth attack for four seconds. That means they're getting an attack buff too. That's kind of insane. This mayhem is going to be insane. Alright, we'll see. Snow Elemental Golems deal area damage around the enemy with the highest attack. So now that's targeting the carries or the DPSs in your team. Equal to a portion of the target's max HP. It's the same thing as how uh, the young Snow Elementals work. And then they use their skill to perform... An attack stunning the enemy for one second so it's not huge but it's just gonna be stunning for one second which is still a pretty good one uh, for us uh, in the actual mayhem because a stun definitely can change the tide of the battle in this new season we added the guild ranking where you can receive additional rewards for your guild based on the total number of earned trophies purchase the kingdom pass during the season to enjoy the opponent list refresh down short term from 30 to 10 minutes so they finally added it if you guys didn't know uh, even the people with the battle passes for this mayhem season did not receive a 30 minute uh, decrease time from 30 to 10 minutes so we still had to wait 30 minutes but as you can see for this one if you do have the battle pass then you are going to be able to receive an extra benefit of decreasing your uh, refresh time from 30 minutes to 10 minutes which is really good all right so uh, legendary uh, queen oh never mind okay so if you guys remember me talking in the teaser video I said that the Frost Queen cookie was probably going to be an event cookie okay so I was not a hundred percent right I was half right wow 
they did it to us again. We all thought it's going to be a different cookie, but never mind. Or like it was going to be one of the five legendary cookies, but never mind. They're bringing a completely new legendary into the game, Frost Queen Cookie. You can prove me. Oh, uh, you can. You can tell me if I'm wrong. I don't think Frost Queen Cookie is inside of Oven Break. Alright, so Frost Queen Cookie is a magic cookie, so another magic, uh, whose skill is called Freezing Squall. Squall? Squall? Uh, I don't, yeah, whatever. <laughs> skill description, cast a squall. Squall? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, um, I gotta listen to this, guys. <laughs> Squall, okay. <laughs> Cast this squall of freezing energy dealing damage and freezing all enemies. Once frozen, the target's cooldown will be paused and will receive an additional portion of damage when thawed. If the freeze debuff is dispelled, uh, I guess it's uh, with like Monaco or something, the target will not receive the additional damage. Okay, so if you guys do decide to like, uh, not do decide to, but if you guys do have Monaco or something like that, I guess that's gonna allow uh, the second damage to be uh, nullified, all right? And then Frost Queen Cookie herself is immune to freezing. So if the enemy has a Frost Queen on their team and you have a Frost Queen, uh, they cannot freeze each other, uh, which is pretty cool, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, some bosses and elite are immune. Uh, immune. Uh, and let's see. Uh, some bosses and elites are immune to the freeze debuff. Also, the debuff might not affect cookies resistant to various interrupting effect when casting their spell. All right. So there are cookies that are resistant to uh, interrupting effects. So there you go. That's not gonna uh, cause effect. But wow, another legendary. Wow. When I said in the video. Um, this looks like a sea fairy, but a like a ice version of it. I was right. <laughs> I was right about that one. Uh, this is definitely a legendary cookie, and uh, definitely uh, from the look of it, uh, deserves a legendary title. And we will definitely uh, find out. I said definitely like three times, but we're gonna find out how strong she's going to be and if she's going to change the meta. And by the looks of it, it's going to. All right. But we're gonna see if that's gonna happen. But super, super excited uh, to see the new legendary. And that means that there is going to be another special gacha uh, that you can use. Um, just like how there was a Thai Shard gacha uh, for the Sea Fairy as well as uh, Light of Passion and Light of uh, Truth. Right? So uh, the Nether gacha. So here we go. We're going to have another gacha that's going to be for uh, designated for Frost Queen Cookie. And then the next one is going to be Epic Cookie, Cotton Cookie. Uh, I thought it was going to be Popcorns. It literally looked like Popcorns to me, but if you guys know, uh, Cottons uh, look like that before they are picked and then uh, put into the uh, bags where uh, we, majority of us, uh, see, all right? So Cotton Cookie is a support cookie. Okay. So I thought it was gonna be a, like a mage because uh, Cotton Cookie does summon, right? So I thought it was gonna be a mage, but never mind. It is a support cookie. Another support. Wow, we're getting a lot of dupes. We're not getting any bombers, though. I don't, I don't know. Or range. Uh, range. I guess we got Twizzly. So, um, but we 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 are in desperate need of a uh, bomber, uh, Dev Sisters. Please, please, give us a bomber. All right, but. Um, the skill is called a Swarm Light. A Warm Light, alright? Skill description. While Cotton Cookie's Lantern shines, the Warm Light will periodically restore the ally's HP and increase the summoned creature's attack. Okay. So, she not only heals the allies, but increase the summoned creature's attack. That means if Pompon is summoned, Pompon increases the attack speed of summoned units or summoned creatures. That means that this cookie, Cotton Cookie, is a increasing the attack. So Pompon plus Cotton Cookie's uh, skill plus the pin cushion. Oh my gosh! How much attack speed and attack are we getting? And additionally, Cotton Cookie summons sheep that will charge at the enemies, dealing area damage and stunning them. Are you sure this is the support? Death Sisters, are you sure you did this correctly? <laughs> I don't think sh they, they uh, thought this through. Okay, by the looks of it, it, it I honestly think that Cotton Cookie should be a magic cookie, but uh, let's keep reading. The summon sheet will fight alongside the cookie for a certain time. So definitely, it is a summon unit. So pin cushion works on these uh, units, and then pom poms will you work on this unit? 
Ah, we're gonna see more craziness going on in this game, alright? Uh, new item. New item? Item? Time jumpers. Use the new time jumpers to instantly clear battles you have. <gasps> oh my gosh! Guys, they finally added it. It's... Uh, uh, oh my gosh. It is finally here, guys. We do not need to sit and see our cookies play through auto mode the entire time. We can just use this item and it will instantly skip every battle and just get the reward. It is essentially the auto clear, uh, but uh, with the shortened uh, version of it, right? It says to clear stage... 4-1 uh, in World Exploration to unlock Time Jumpers. Use Time Jumpers in World Exploration, Story Slash Dark, uh, Daily Bounties, Tower of Sweet Chaos, Tropical Soda Islands. In World Exploration, a Time Jumper can only be used if you earn all three stars on that stage. Uh, as of now, it looks like an item, so it's going to be uh, kind of similar to the speed ups, in my opinion. Uh, but we'll have to see if uh, how many is required to kind of jump through the stages and how we can earn it if it is not a permanent thing. But by the looks of it, guys, ah, finally, after um, you know a very long time, uh, this game has been out uh, since the early 2021. They are finally adding something that we needed desperately uh, for those people who cannot sit and literally stare at the screen for 30 minutes to waste all their or use up all their stamina jellies as well as do their dead bounties and all their stuff so this is definitely going to help uh and then oh my god dude they're surprising us with all of the good stuff all of the good stuff if you guys see right here easier topping management this is what we needed guys we all needed this easier topping management we needed this so badly okay uh, now you can create up to four sets of your favorite toppings sort your toppings by set Favorite toppings cannot be broken down <gasps> Okay, so basically what it's saying is you can basically heart or you know kind of like heart uh, Your toppings that you really want or you know want to keep and then you cannot break them down So you can't accidentally break them down anymore and then that's gonna oh, that's so good. That is so good and then it says, research the technology called extra topping presets at the, uh, at the Sugar Gnome Navatory to unlock up to two additional presets to switch between. We changed the order of display for the toppings rarity, type, and level. Uh, we'll have to see that in the uh, game when it actually comes out, but by the looks of it, it's going to be really good. Toppings of the same rarity, type, level will be displayed in the order of their first effect. Attack, defense, HP, attack speed, crit, cooldown, damage resist, and so on. This is actually going to really uh, definitely help because of the fact that we, if you guys know, the substats, it's crazy. Like, it will just be all over the place and you can never find it. So this is definitely going to help out. Toppings with the same first effect will be displayed in the descending order of the effect's value. Oh my gosh, thank you Death Sisters, this is so good. That means we don't need to be looking around everywhere to find out the highest uh, damage resist. Uh, you know, it may be like over here, and then uh, your other like damage resist may be like up here. N it's none of that anymore, it's gonna be all organized, it's always gonna be super super neat and uh, easy for you guys to manage. This is so good. Oh my gosh, this is like a Christmas gift uh, early for us. <laughs> Other changes, starting from this update, it will be possible to use up to three legendary ancients in the Kingdom Arena or Super Mayhem. Alright, so there you go guys. Uh, a lot of you guys were asking, hey Hyrule, do you think that if all the legendaries or all the ancients came out into the game, do you think that the ancient slash legendary are going to fill up the entire team? Uh, I said uh, probably not because they're not going to be all used uh, for the arena. But by the looks of it, it's going to be. However, Dev Sisters have prevented that problem by setting a restriction that you can only use up to three. So you cannot use more. So you cannot have uh, Pure Vanilla, Hollowberry, uh, Seafair, and uh, the Frost Queen, um, you know, all four of them into your team. And that's not going to happen, all right? So it's going to be the same for Kingdom Arena as well as Super Mayhem, all right? And then Sintris's pincushion's effect has been increased. What? 
increases the attack speed uh, for a summon creature will be improved. Isn't Simtress's Pincushion's effect increase the attack? I'm sure it was the attack. All right, let's let's check it out because I remember as attack. Yeah, it's the attack, not the attack speed. Okay, so I I might have to let Dev Sisters know about this, uh, because it's not attack, it's attack. Or I mean, it's not attack speed, it's attack. So um, yeah, this is gonna have to uh, be changed. But here we go, level twelve from seventy to eighty percent. Wow, <laughs> seventy to eighty percent? Are you crazy? And then on top of that, you have Cotton Cookie. What in the world are they thinking? And then in the Rainbow Shell Market, Legendary Soul Stones available for purchase will be alternating between Sea Fairy Cookies and the Frost Queen Cookie Soul Stone. So now, uh, just like the Arena, instead of um, you know being able to purchase uh, purchase just uh, the Sea Fairy Soul Stone. You're going to be able to purchase Frost Queen Soulstone as well. And it's alternating. So I don't think it's a random. I think it's every uh, three days you're going to have uh, Sea Fairy. And then the next three days it's going to be Frost Queen. I think that's how it's going to be uh, by the wording of alternating. And then Time Jumpers as well as the XP Star Jellies and Topping Pieces will become available for purchase in the Metal Shop for the Kingdom Arena. So there you go, guys. Time Jumpers are going to be something like uh, the speed ups in the game. And you're going to have to purchase it in order to, uh, to use it. Uh, for your uh, world exploration or whatever you want to use it on. In the Kingdom Arena, trophies awarded for victories will be increased by approximately 40 to 60% by tier. Accordingly, uh, the number of trophies lost and defeat will be increased by 40 to 50%. I don't know if that's a good news because if you remember, uh, if you're Master 1 or above or Master 2 and above, you literally get like 1 to like maximum 2, 3 trophies. Um, increasing it by 40 to 60 percent is okay but increasing the defeat uh, penalty of trophy loss by 40 to 50 percent that means instead of losing 10 you could lose up to 15 I don't like the sound of that you you literally the mental is gonna go boom like psh God, I don't know what they're thinking. Uh, raspberry Cookies Soulstone and Moon Ravist Cookies Soulstone will be added to the Mala Shop. And new decor Cozy uh, Snowfall Village is going to be added. And five new decors for the Atlas of the Tree themes will be added as well. And with we'll love your kingdom team. Wow, a lot, a lot. I know usually my teaser uh, or the update sneak peek video is not this long. It went on forever because of all the things I wanted to talk about with you guys and explain to you. Reading this is crazy. I don't even know what's going to happen. Um, you guys might be shocked. Like, why in the world is Hyrule's update sneak peek video so freaking long? And if you guys watch to the very end, you guys will definitely know exactly why. Uh, because I've been trying to explain everything as well. Um, let's see exactly during the update if that's going to happen. Uh, just like how I said it. But I hope you guys found this video helpful. And I kind of broke it down into pieces. Uh, and I made it easier for you guys to understand. Um, and if you guys did find the video helpful as well as super exciting then don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future Cookie Kingdom videos I upload on YouTube. Anyways guys, thanks for watching once again and I'll see you guys all next time.